Welcome back to DFM TV. I am Dan the Fire Stick Man, your source for entertainment. In this video is how to go through the initial setup once your Fire Stick is plugged into your television. If you need help unboxing your Fire Stick and properly installing it to your TV, you definitely want to check out this video right here or you can check out the link in the description. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to see once you plug in your Fire Stick to your TV is going to be this screen here. You're going to have different languages because it's looking for the remote control. It should only look for it for a few seconds until you put the batteries in. If you already put the batteries in, it's going to take you to the next screen that you're about to see in just a second here. There it is. It says Fire TV and it says press the play pause button to start. Now for those of you that don't know which one's the play pause button, look at your remote right here. Okay. and it's the one right underneath the house. It has the play and the pause symbol all in one button. You're going to press that one time. So let's go ahead and do that right now. The first time that you do that, the first thing it's going to do is ask you what language. Look at your remote. Okay, this is the, the enter button or the center of the circle right here. You want to press that one time. Click on that. And now it's going to start looking for your Wi-Fi connection. It's going to find yours and your neighbors and everybody else around you. Okay, it has a pretty big range. The most important part here is to connect to your 5G network. So for those of you that it says 5G on your on the Wi-Fi, that's the one you want to plug it into. Don't go for the 2.4 gigahertz. Fire Stick should always be plugged into the 5G. Will it work on the 2.4? Yes, but it's going to be extremely slow. It's going to give you more issues than it's worth. Always plug into the 5G. Like in my case, I'm going to go around. I have the Squid Games 2, 2X, which is the, my 2G, and then the Squid Games 5G. Some of you are going to have just one Wi-Fi, one Wi-Fi name. It's not going to determine whether it's 2.4 or 5G. That's fine. That means you have a smart router, but it should connect automatically to the 5G when you do that. So let's go ahead and connect to it. I'm going to connect to mine by clicking on it. That's the center of the circle. Click on it. It'll ask you to put in your password. Go ahead and put in your password, and you're going to click Connect. I'm going to put mine in and then click connect. Well, it's going to skip that part right now. Let's go ahead and do it. Once you click connect, it's going to bring you over to the next screen here. It says connecting to the name of your Wi-Fi. And if you put in your password correctly, it'll say connection successful. Once it does that, the next screen that you're going to see may look like this, checking for updates. So now it's downloading the latest software. And depending on how long this takes is whether I'm going to edit it out. Everything seems to be working properly. And now it says the fire stick will restart. So it's powering off on its own. And it's going to power back on. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this uh, installing the latest software. Here we go. Okay, so... It just finished doing the initial update and it's rebooted the fire stick so for some of you i mean this one literally took about six minutes to do so that's why i just had to edit it out but it's rebooting the fire stick and let's see what the next screen is a lot of you are going to have the same screen going forward same steps moving forward some of you will be faster than others and it all depends again on how long the fire stick has been sitting in the shelf before you purchase it because the more updates has been since the fire stick has been put in the shelf, the longer it's going to take the first time around. So let's see how it goes here. Okay, scanning for networks and checking for updates again. Let's see what it does. It's downloading the latest software update, finishing update. That was that part was fairly quickly. see what it does now all right so now we're on the screen where we're going to register your Amazon account to your fire stick if you don't have an Amazon account you can get a free one you do not have to pay for a full membership of prime in order to work a fire stick um, but if you have multiple uh, Amazon accounts like between you and your spouse um, you want to pick the Amazon account that has prime on it so if one of them has prime and the other one doesn't Register to the one with Prime. That way you can take advantage of all the Prime videos that come with the Prime membership. This is how you're going to do it. You're going to click on I have an Amazon account. Sign in. Okay. Do not create a new Amazon account on a Fire Stick because it will take you literally forever to do, guys. 
If you don't have one, set it up on a tablet, on a computer, on your cell phone. Don't do it on the Fire Stick if you want, unless you want to be here forever. Okay. Click on I have an account. Once you get all that set up, and then it's going to bring you to the next screen here. It's going to be look just like this, and it's going to give you online instructions on how to do it. You don't have to do it this way. What you can do is you can see this bottom option here where it says press and that is called the options button. Some people call it the hamburger button. But that button on your remote has the three lines so you want to look at that. And you want to press that one time so you don't have to go through this crazy setup that they got going on. Hit it one time and it will bring you this pop up where you put your email address and then you hit next and the next thing you're going to put in is going to be your password for your Amazon account and that should register your Amazon account and so go ahead and put that information in right now and then let's see what the next screen shows us once you click on next after you put your password it says registering your Amazon TV and if you put everything correctly it will say successfully registered and you'll get this pop-up here which says welcome DFM TV for me because my account is named DFM TV your account will say your name but then you're gonna go ahead and click continue and then it's going to ask you, do you want to save the password? You want to say, yes, save the password. Now, after you click save password, if you had prior Fire Sticks in the past under this account that you registered to, it'll say, do you want to restore uh, pretty much you know, anything that you had on the other Fire Stick or do you want to skip this? Now, let me explain this part before you make a decision on this. Restoring, let me give you an example. If you had another fire, so you had Netflix, Hulu, you had all these applications, Paramount, all these applications downloaded. What clicking on restore is going to do is going to go ahead and re download those same applications onto this new fire stick. But it will not sign you in. You still will have to go into these applications for the first time and then sign in your credentials for Hulu, for Netflix, for Paramount, for Disney Plus, whatever you had. The only thing it's saving you time on is actually downloading the application itself, but that is it. For those of you that don't didn't have a previous Fire Stick, um, you're not going to get this pop-up. And for those of you that don't care to do that because you're starting fresh, you can click on Skip. I am going to click on Skip for the reason is that not everything that I had on one Fire Stick I'm going to want on the other Fire Stick. So there's no sense in downloading applications to take up memory off my Fire Stick on things I'm not really going to use. So I am going to click on skip, but you can do whatever you choose to do at this point. I'm going to click on skip. And it's going to say preparing your remote control for setup. This part is also very important. Um, hopefully you have this, you have this uh, fire stick plugged in to the television that you're going to leave it in because that's what it's looking for. In my case, I have a different setup because I have it through my computer and everything. So it can't really find my television, so it's giving me a list of televisions to choose from. In your case, most of you, it would just say, uh, we notice that you're at Vizio or you're at Samsung or whatever the manufacturer is, the TV is. If it happens to name the correct manufacturer, you're just gonna hit yes. I'm gonna go ahead and just pick mine over here. And next is gonna go ahead and start doing this step here. We'll be playing music, blah, blah, blah. Just click on next. And you're going to hear the music in the background. And then you're going to hit up or down at this point. And if you notice your volume control going up and down on your television, then um, what you want to do is hit yes. If you don't notice anything happening on your TV, no volume control going up or down, then I want you to hit no and it'll look for it again. And then keep doing this until you get it. You see the volume control. Most of you will get it on the first try. So just go ahead and yes. And then it's going to say your Fire TV remote is now successfully set up. Depending on the manufacturer, it may take an extra step where it says that it's going to turn off the television and turn back on by hitting the power button. Just follow those instructions and then turn it back on and then hit yes if it actually turned it on and off and you're going to hit OK. And then after you do that, what it's going to do is going to ask you several questions on how you want to set up this Fire Stick for the first time. I'm going to explain that as we go. If you have the Fire Stick for the first time, um, you can get one month fr uh, free trial of Amazon Kits. If you want to try that, you can totally do that at this point. I'm not going to do that, so I'm going to go ahead and hit no thanks. Then the next thing is choose your streaming services. So this is just a shortcut on 
on applications like Netflix, Hulu, and stuff like that that you can download. And you can do that at this point. You don't have to. You can always do that later at the home screen. And that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to hit no thanks for me. But you guys can explore and click on get started. Choose the applications you want. And then it will move you to the next screen right here. Parental controls. So I would put uh, no parental controls for right now. And you can go ahead and set it up later. If you are not interested in parental controls at all, then you have nothing to worry about. Put no parental controls. And then it just gives you little welcome to Fire TV information. Just hit got it. And now it's going to have you choose an avatar. You should already have a picture over your avatar. You can add another profile if you have several people in your house so they all have their own profile. That's totally up to you at this point. I'm just going to go click on my avatar, my profile right here, DFM TV. And at this point, it's going to bring me to the home screen. Now we got past the initial setup of the Fire Stick. You made it to the home screen. Now, part of this process is also to make sure your Fire Stick is completely up to date. The original update that the Fire, uh, Fire Stick did does not mean that that is the latest update. It was just the one that it needed to be done in order to get to this point. Now we need to find out if there's more updates involved. So we are going to go ahead and do that first. How do you do that? You're going to go to the right to the settings. Settings is that gear right here. Go to settings and then you're going to go down to My Fire TV. Some of you may have My Fire TV in another spot depending on where your update uh, is at the Fire Stick. So let's click on My Fire TV. And now what we're going to do here is going to click on About. And then you're going to go down and it would say install updates or it would say check for updates either way. You're going to click on it. When you click on it, it's going to start doing an update. Now, I am going to skip for the sake of time. I'm going to skip these updates in the sense like I'm going to edit it out of the video. In your case, you obviously have to wait for them. But one thing I want to mention is that if at any point it gets stuck where you click on check for update or install update and nothing happens like this. Um, then you have to restart your fire stick and I'll show you that in a moment but right now Let's get past this update and I'll show you what to do next Okay, so it just did the first update and it brought me back to the screen and it said check for updates Some updates will restart the fire stick and bring you back to the home screen in which case you go to settings my fire TV About and scroll down to this point I'm gonna go ahead and click check for updates again and this is exactly what we're looking for is to say your Fire TV is up to date. So for some of you, you're going to click check for updates and it's going to go ahead and start downloading a new update. You're going to click on it and you're going to, um, once it reboots the Fire Stick, you're going to click install the update. It's going to do it. You may have to repeat that several times until you get to this point. And this is the part where if you click on check for updates and nothing happens, you're not getting this pop up that says your Fire TV is up to date. It kind of just grades out and nothing's happening. What you're going to do at that point, you're going to hit the back button one time. And when you do, assuming it doesn't take you back to the home screen, you're going to go down and you're going to click on restart. And then you're going to click on restart again. And then after you do, and you re it restarts your fire stick, you're back at the home screen. You're going to go ahead and do the same thing again. Go back to settings. You're going to go down to my fire TV and you're going to click on about and you're going to click on install update or check for updates again until again we're going to repeat that until you get what you're getting what you're seeing right here your fire tv is up to date okay. and that is it at this point you can start installing netflix you can start installing any other applications that you have and you can start watching prime if you already pay for prime membership on amazon your fire stick is good to go i hope this video has been helpful for you guys thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe, like, let me know in the comments below how it went. I'd love to hear your feedback. You have been watching DFM TV. I am Dan, the Firestick Man, your source for entertainment. Until the next video, happy streaming.